always take great pleasure in celebrating ladies, women, warriors, and today is one of my favorite days because today I have in her house right here in Miami, Franchon Cruz de Zern, the newly crowned world champion. Franchon, it, you know, since USA Boxing Olympics trials, your journey into obviously professionalism and championship again after being the undisputed first first ever first ever and we're back you just kind of like put your crown back on and you yeah. dusted it off how does it feel it, i feel like i'm back like i never left and you know i never accepted defeat i knew that my destination was the same i just had to take a different route and shoot i might be back on the road to undisputed why not so that's why we're celebrating big time so yeah thank you thank you for coming <laughs> this is your little house right here in the middle of pequeña Havana in miami mm -hmm. but there's a lot to be say, said about franchon uh we've had great discussions about spirituality emotional mm -hmm. iq obviously all that comes into play when you're putting your life on the line in the ring yes and how does that that part of your life enriched your boxing life well, understanding that you can always train your hardest and do your best and expect to win, but sometimes it doesn't work like that. The real strength comes in your adaptability. Now, say I did get a defeat or I did come up short and about, how am I going to adapt to that? Am I going to give up or just think that my methods didn't work? Am I going to add? Am I going to, to the, uh, subtract? So for me, I just like to flow like water and go with it. No matter where I go, just find my way to where I need to go. And flowing you do very, <laughs> very well. So when we talk about Franchon, to just consider you a fighter, mm -hmm. an Olympian, a USA boxing member, a professional and a champion, I think even though those accolades could glorify anybody, yeah. but in my book, it falls short to describe who you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's what I've been taking pride in more these days, just working on myself, because you, you'll you be surprised. There's a lot of people who are accomplished out there that's not good people. And I want, when I do leave an impression on people, to say like, hey, she made me feel special, or I really enjoyed her presence. So that's been one of the main things I've been working on, because I need to be okay with me. If I'm not comfortable with my own company, then I can imagine what other people go through. So I've just been in a space of self-awareness, evolution, and just growing to who I need to be. And in that process, not only have you kept honing your singing talent, mm -hmm. your creativity just pours in your designs. Because mm -hmm. now, not only are you uh, number one hit in England, you have an outstanding singing career. You've sang national anthems in very public spots. Mm -hmm. But how many fashion shows do you have now? Three? Yeah, no, four. 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 And they were like throwing me. I'm a, I felt like a little, at the time, I could be considered a little fish in the ocean. But I turned out to be a big fish. So, you know, I'm respected by some of the, the big people in fashion. And it's so much room to grow but the potential is already standing out. So I'm grateful for that and just want to keep working hard to hone that. So I'm going to share a little bit of us with you guys. Um, of course, I've followed your career. I was there mm -hmm. for your pro debut. I've mm -hmm. been there all along. Yes. But the one time that we had an outstanding exchange, and it was just seconds, we were there in Detroit for Clarissa Shields' uh, fight. Uh, <laughs> and you were you were wearing a beautiful jacket. Yes. And you had put on like a brooch mm -hmm. and then slick pants and you look hot as Thank always. Thank you. And of course, you know, the pleasantry is high, high because of course, you know yes. who I am. I know who you are. Yes. But my eye just kept going to what you were wearing. <laughs> and oddly enough, she goes, oh, I got this at a, at a thrift store. I'm like, oh my God. Yes. It looks so good. And then I just added this and I added that and I did. And that just splurge, your creativity just came through. And we were talking about your mom and how she was always pushing you to allow that creativity to mm -hmm. come. How much of your mom is within you in those process of creation? Oh, my mother just, she's one of my biggest inspirations. 
my husband is my muse and he's the one that's like yeah big mama you should do this but my mom just remember her grace she she was the first person to take me to a thrift store and I used to be like, Ma, I don't want to do this. Ew, corduroy pants. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still traumatized by it. But she was like, put this corduroy pants on with this pink shirt. And she basically, that's sustainable fashion, actually. And a lot of people can afford expensive things and still look cheap. But when you, <laughs> when you have style, you could take something that may not be inexpensive and make it look very luxurious. Or... The things people think aren't expensive, when you retell it or research it, it's a diamond in the rough. You done found a vintage, authentic, one-of-a-kind item that's worth a lot of money. But back to how my mom inspired my style, I always saw her in pants, man, skirt suits. The skirts with the blazers. She might have on an earring that didn't match the other earring, but she just rocked it. And growing up, you can admire your mom or you can also be like, God, mom, why are you doing that? Like, why are you wearing that? Why are you doing that? But now as I've, you know, embraced my, my womanhood, I see like, oh, my mom was fly. She was fly. So, you know, I notice I'll catch a glimpse in the mirror and be like, damn, I look like my mom. I'm giving Sarah Cruz. <laughs> and you are fly, girl. Thank because you. as a matter of fact, one of the things that I admire, uh, that inspiration goes literally into boxing firsthand. So I remember clearly you had this very intricate um, walk to the ring where you had a group of ladies dancing. Yes. You had a mask, you, you had designed your shorts and so on and so forth. And you know, we usually talk about men being very creative in their uh, walkouts, mm -hmm. but you went that much further mm -hmm. in terms of you designed every single person's uh, outfit, costume, there was a yes. model, there was an idea. How distracting can that be, especially when you have a commitment like a fight? <laughs> well, the thing that helps me is everything comes natural to me. Fighting comes natural. Um, creativity comes natural to me. So other than time management, when I do create these things or come up with these ideas, it actually helps me cope through camps because they can be so excruciating mm -hmm. physically mentally and you know I've been a world champion basically 75 percent of my professional career as an amateur 80 percent of my career I've always been top seed so you you have all these pressures on you and you got to find some kind of relief and in my mind I'm still that pop star that I wanted to be before I started boxing the whole reason I started boxing and I'm just so grateful for every opportunity I have, whether it's for a title, not a title, but to make my mark in history. So when I step out and people go back and see the video, like, oh, she came, she came through. And I also find joy in giving opportunities to other people. So bringing those, the dancers and the drummer who probably never flown before or never been on that type of stage, bringing them with me, hopefully that can inspire them to keep pursuing what they're pursuing. Because for me, if I see it, I can achieve it. I honestly believe it. And I'm grateful to have people in my life who show me things I never thought I would see before. You ain't gotta tell me, but once. Once you tell me, it's done and over with. Oh, uh -huh. I've, been, I, I've, I've been witness of that. <laughs> And when we talk about this new generation of fighters, I remember back in the day when we talk about the four main ladies and the progress of boxing itself, not only in terms of competition, but skill set, exposure, you mm -hmm. name it. One of the things that I admire is the fact that all these ladies support each other in everything they do. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I admire the most is the fact that you're willing to take your time and design something for Clarissa. You talk to Marlena Sparza. Mm -hmm. You talk to all these ladies that are part of your your clan, your tribe. Yes. And you guys all support each other in many different ways, not just boxing, putting boxing aside. Mm -hmm. You guys like each other. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, there's, so I'm in a unique position. I'm like the mother or the godmother because I'm old enough to know, young enough to learn. And 
yes, I haven't, I wasn't in professionals when Cecilia Burkis was, you know, as mm -hmm. the first first lady, first undisputed champion. But while they were doing their thing on the, in the in the uh, professionals, I was doing my thing in the amateurs. I've been around a long time, so that's why I consider myself a new age pioneer because I've seen a lot of these new girls, even the ones that's popping right now. I remember when they were just pups in the amateurs, and they you know may not have been as successful as they are now, but I've seen them all grow. So that's just the the space I set myself in, and it also helps me because you can, I don't compare myself to others. There is a market value. When you think of Clarissa, you're like, oh, who, who is she fighting? Who's her competition? Of course, my name will come up with, with other women. Like I'm one of the faces of boxing too, but I just stay in my lane because I know my talent. I know my capabilities. I know what I bring to the table and n nobody can be me and I can't be them. Can I achieve some of the things they have achieved? Yeah but you can never do what I do. So I just stay there and I try to show love to each and every one of them, even if they don't like each other, you know, cause there's certain instances where I'm cool with this person, I'm cool with that person, but these two people do not like each other. Competition, it's yeah. competition. And, it, it, and sometimes that's healthy. No, sometimes it's not, <laughs> but like- That back? Y yes, but as the position I take as like a mother or the godmother or the big sister, I will ex extend the olive branch and just say, hey, remember we're all fighting for, we got our own individual fights, but we're fighting for something bigger. And I try to make it right. And I have to respect how the ladies feel, but I just try to lead with love, you know? And if you come at me crazy, just be prepared for crazier. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you're leading with love. A lot of people forget, um, yes, not just boxing, across the board, in everything we do, mm -hmm. this competition, mm -hmm. there's, you know, we rub other people the wrong way of and course, vice versa. Of course. How do you stay, let's call it the frequency of love. How do you stay there? Well, one, I'm unfuckable with. Oh. <laughs> that's just the truth if you can bleep it out whatever but I'm not gonna it's like I'm on a whole different plane a whole different frequency so whatever issue that a person may have with me is something that they're in, dealing with internally and I have to understand you're projecting because I'm not hating on you it's say if it's in boxing you're a champion I'm a champion what am I mad at you make your money, I make the money that's meant for me. That's fine. If I don't feel like I'm making enough, I'll work harder and try to get more, you know? I look good, you may look good. So what's the problem? And if you got a serious issue, bring it to me. But for me, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm just, I leave with gratitude. I'm just grateful. And I'm I just think, grateful. I think that's uh, one leads to the next. Because if you're grateful with, for, for everything that you have, yeah. then there's nothing else but love to pour onto others. Yeah, but just as strong as my love can be, my wrath is even stronger. Ooh, no wonder <laughs> she's a hard-hitting diva. Yeah. How, how bad can your wrath be? Very, very. Really? Very, very. I'm a reformed woman. You, you gotta- Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> like, me and my husband had a conversation two days ago and saying how you have to <laughs> have a screw loose to actually box and progress and just have a passion for it because you got to be close to insanity who in the hell wants to get punched in their face take their body through hard camps and do this for a maybe a good amount of money in the beginning no money you know mm -hmm. and then you know the inequalities of women we still don't make as much as the men so mm -hmm. yeah we're going hard in the paint and not guaranteed to make a quarter of what the men make Oh, you're, and we're fortunate if it's a quarter. Yeah, and but for me, I just know where I've come from, mm -hmm. and I've had a lot of growth. I was a street fighter before. I've been through I just, things. Look, look at this beautiful queen right here. <laughs> I cannot see you. I mean, I guess because I've known you, yes. and I've seen your, your progression, your, you growing into your very comfortable womanhood. Thank I you. I do not see you as a street fighter. <laughs> the ones that know, they know. Um, even when I started boxing, I was rough. My husband, when he gets me in my game, he's like, I want to see 
the friend Sean, friend Sean from Chicago, when I first stepped on the scene, trust me, trust me. That was not funny. Trust me. <laughs> that's just boxing, but you know, I'm reformed, so that's why I can speak to all types of women, all types of men. But I do think people get it twisted because I am so calm and comfortable in this this life. They take me for play, and it shouldn't be that way, but to each his own. You know, it, somebody said to me a long time ago, uh, a lot of people confuse kindness with weakness. And yeah. Just because, and somebody else said to me, people have no idea the level of violence that I've withstood in order to be this <laughs> calm. Is that your case? Oof. Yes, yes, for sure, for sure. Like, even, like, I think for me, when I understand in boxing, it's a business. And a lot of people get off on gimmicks. Like, I feel like the whole trajectory of social media and the way things are, because I'm literally in the middle of everything, from the amateurs to the pros, when social media wasn't a big thing to now. It's like, you don't have to be real to make it. People don't like real. People don't like real. True. People Very like true. a gimmick. People like what's, what somebody can portray. Even with the rappers, you'll have rappers that talking about gang gang I do this that and the third as soon as they get in the court no it was just for the song I'm not really like that you know me what you see is what you get when you pull up with Glenn what you see is what you get and sometimes that's too much for people so I just stay in my lane especially in boxing I just stay in my lane because I know who I am I knew I know who some of these other fighters are and I just love everybody for who they are and you do such a good job. <laughs> I, I agree with everything you've said, but now my curiosity goes, uh, we're talking about transparency, authenticity, and being real. But when we look at somebody that has so many layers, where's the real French on? Is it the creator uh, inspired uh, that has the muse at the house, mm -hmm. the, still the child, because I've seen you as a child as well yeah. with your mom yeah and i've seen you as a mother with your peers so how i there's so many places so many angles who's the real french on wow i i'm a gemini and on top of that i feel like i've lived at least like five lives so every what you see is me what you see Everything. is me I was talking to my husband this morning about taking accountability. When I'm right, I'm right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'll stand up to it and try my best to figure out how can I adjust, how can I be better. And honestly, some days you might see me in a playful mood, but you also got to take when you see me in a not playful mood, that's me as well. And I'm still working on myself because I've always been kind and nice but that gets you underpaid, disrespected, and neglected. So I'm learning, especially being in a position of power as a person that's an entrepreneur that runs her own business, I have to understand that sometimes you just have to be firm and fair. And people in the world are not going to give a F about you. They don't care about your feelings. They just want to get what they need to get. So you got to understand, look, you, you, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Always stay on point and be smart and understand what you're doing it for. Know your why. So I just have more of a deep connection with my why and boxing, my other avenues that I pursue, and just as a person. <clears throat> so many layers, and you just mentioned the why. Mm -hmm. What is the one common why to all your endeavors? The common why for everything that I do is one, to be happy. I'm doing things that make me happy. I love it. <laughs> just cut it right there. I, I want to be happy. Um, I want to be great because I've been, I've been to the bottom and I feel like I've done so much I can't just give up. You know, even when it don't seem like it's working for me, I, I can't give up. So that that challenger and that champion in me, I just gotta keep going. And last but not not least, people that love me. My mom, who's in a different realm right now. My husband, oh, he just believes I can do anything. 
And then if you think about my brothers and my family, just getting those calls, like, yeah, that's my sister, that's my daughter. Like, my dad, he's, he's like, walking on sunshine. But to put smiles on others' faces or people who invested in me, whether it's just, it could be, it ain't money like that. Nobody really invested it. But <laughs> just time and knowledge and to see, like, wow, she really took what I said and, and ran with it and became something, that matters to me. That matters to me. I'm, I'm sure your mom is watching with a big smile, especially because you've been successful in so many, so many different realms. Mm -hmm. And music is a very tough industry, very competitive. Fashion. I mean, you think she's <laughs> taking brawls in the ring? Fashion could be <sighs> relentless. Yeah. And it's, for me, it's a new fight. I've been boxing so long. So, and music is my number one love. So actually having the opportunity to pursue it and have somebody who believes in it wholeheartedly like I do see my vision, that helps me. But with fashion, mm. <laughs> I don't seek validation, but it do feel good when some of the big wigs or, or heavy hitters in fashion like, oh, you're doing something and my models love it. My mentors love it. People I've never met love it. So I'm like, oh, I might be on to something. So let's see where this goes, you know? Where's the ceiling to a franchise? There is none. Oh, love it. <laughs> My drop. There is mamba. none. Mamba. That's mamba material. Yeah. There is no ceiling There too. is none. And I'm walking into that because, you know, one of my mentors is Bernard Hopkins. I love him. Who retired at 52. B-Hop. <laughs> yes. Yes. Am I going to box at 52? I don't think so. I don't think But, so. no, I don't. <laughs> unless they throw in a big bag. Mm. But just to know that when people put limitations on you, you don't have to adhere to them. So having a person like that in my life, even to this day, like, if I hang out with them, I know I still got to run. Which is already in me, but I know he he ain't laying around. Let's go running. So that kind of motivation, that kind of um, influence, helps and keeps me encouraged because they're they're sexist, they're ages. It's even a little racism, well, of course, and boxing, and, and bigotry, and, and all of that, and, all and. of that, all of that, and to have that kind of influence on myself and also my husband just gives me the comfort to know like okay you can do what you want to do if you want to stop and have a child that's on you but if you just want to keep boxing as long as you want to box, it's on you one because i know i bring something to the table i think i could i could run with some of these new kids like i want to fight whoever and i'll keep fighting until it's like you know what big mom you gotta hang the gloves up but I, it's in me and it's no ceiling like Fashion, it's, I'm just so grateful I'm able to parlay boxing, which found me into so many different avenues. Music goes on forever. If I'm not even singing in the forefront, I could write for people in the background. Fashion, I could dress you till I'm like 120. Like, no, it's no selling. There's so many other things like working behind the scenes in boxing. So I'm just, wherever the wind blows me, that's where I'm going to grow. And we're gonna keep watching you grow. Um, once again, I'm so, so proud of you. <laughs> Thank everything you. Everything that you've accomplished, <laughs> everything that you put your mind to. And I'm not proud because of the results. I'm proud because of the commitment. Yeah. And the effort. Mm. And you have traveled the road less traveled. Yeah. So. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for being here in your little house in Pequeña Juana. Yes, I love it. You know, we, we still have coladitas to drink, so I'm gonna, we're going to do that off camera, <laughs> even though we're having wine. Uh, when is your next fight? What's next? So I am down here. I, I work out of here, and I have some meetings next week, so hopefully we can get a, a more of a narrow date for us hopefully second quarter of 2024 that's what i'm looking forward to um far as music i have a performance later on this month i have so many personal goals that yes! that transition into my my professional goals so i'm just working i don't even want to talk about it. i'm just working yes do it in <laughs> silence and then allow others to see the results yes yes so i'm gonna take advantage of the fact that i love you to death and that we're friends yay would you mind sharing with us real quick 
that awesome hit as we say goodbye oh, to all our viewers. Thank you for watching as Franchon. Would you mind? Yes. Do you want to go to my secret place A magical, magical love Magical, magical love <laughs> Love you to death. You Thank you guys for joining Thank us. You.